Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Ask the Gov. Let's begin. Our first question comes from Deb via Facebook. Deb asks, could you address the state's progress towards creating 200,000 new jobs and increasing exports? Well, I'm pleased to report that just today the new unemployment rate came out and it's dropped to 5.1 percent. It was 6.1 percent when I became governor and we've been making progress every month in terms of attracting new business and jobs. I just was at a groundbreaking for CJ, a Korean company, which is putting a lysine plant in Fort Dodge right next to where Cargill is remodeling the Tate and Lyle plant. Also recently I was at an uh, uh, event up in Osage for a company called uh, Valent Biosciences. So we've got a lot of real exciting things going on in our state. John Deere is expanding at several locations around the state. Pioneer just put a new research facility in Johnston that opened and um, we've been making significant progress in increasing the number of job opportunities, especially in manufacturing and in biosciences. Our second question comes from Eric via Facebook. Eric says, will Iowa put the funding it originally had for the I-74 bridge project in its five-year plan? Yes, the state of Iowa intends to do that, and also we just got word yesterday that uh, the governor of Illinois has committed Illinois to provide its share of the funding as well. And now we also need to get help from uh, the federal DOT. And I met with the, uh, uh, with the uh, Secretary of Transportation, Ray LaHood, when I was in Washington, D.C. And he recently visited the I-74 bridge project and is very supportive of it. So I'm hopeful between the states of Iowa, Illinois, and the federal DOT, uh, we can get that done in, the, in this uh, five-year plan. 